Tom Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm in the Minneapolis suburbs area of Minnesota. And I'm with Fred Ahern. And this car, well, it's got quite the little history to it. Fred, what year make and model is this one? This is a 67 Rambler Rebel. It's a factory drag car. It's the only one that exists. This is it. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, it's a prototype. So let me grab this camera. And Fred, first of all, let's start with... Come right next to me. How long have you had this one, the Topol Rambler? I've had it since about 2006. Correct me if I'm wrong, you had to sell a few cars to get this one. I traded three really nice cars to get this from Ellis Tripp. <laughs> uh, Come on up. And Ellis Tripp has a museum, doesn't he? Yeah, he has a Rambler museum out in Belfouche. Look at that. So he finally gave it up. Yep. Well, he gave it to the right guy, right? I mean, you really uh, have taken care of it. That's what he said to us. He needed somebody who would restore it and actually do it justice and get it back the way it's supposed to be. In which it was pretty complete, pretty nice car, but it still needed, you know, every, everything to go through. How long was the restoration? Six years. Six years. Now, some of the pieces right off the bat, we've got a 343 up there, and in a second, we'll show you what's under the hood. And by the way, it's not a 343. But let's take a look at the back of the car. Now, first of all, uh, we'll take some time here. Tell me a little bit about Topol. Topol was, uh, Topol was a, a dealer down in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Okay. And uh, that's where the car went from the junkyard to being a factory race car. While I'm right back here, let's show a little quick trunk and treats. Show me what we got in that trunk there, Fred. We have our service protector for the fender. Tell me what this is. Uh, those are uh, duplicates of the shirts they used to have when they raced the car. Red, white, and blue. There's your trunk. How did you create that? Uh, they reproduced that. Okay, good. I was going to say that would be impossible. Yep. All right, let's uh, close that up. And we're right back. The, um, the development of the Group 19 stuff is in this car. Which is the high performance The high performance pieces. stuff. And it's, uh, it's the very first Rambler to have a 394 speed in it. The very first Rambler to be red, white, and blue. So this was like a precursor to the, to the machine. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Tell me some other features here. Uh, uh, the uh, interior is of its own. Let's take a look. I had to uh, reproduce that. Now I know it's gold in here, and that's because it was well gold on this car. It was gold. So you can see right off the bat, notice this strip here. You've got the American Motors. Go ahead, tell me more as I'm looking around. So we, and obviously if we want to race it anymore, we had to put a roll cage in it. It did not have one originally. Yeah. But it does now, as you can see. And is that a unique steering wheel? It is. I noticed that. It is. It uh, was. Uh, it's a brand new one that I had. So I put it in this car. Yeah. Um, the upholstery we had reproduced from SMS upholstery. Okay. It took over two years. Wow. Had uh, just dashes rebuilt me a new dash that took almost two years. Let's enjoy that. And it's, and I say this lovingly, it's a simple dash. Yes. You know, it's radio delete, it's everything delete. But yet it took that long. Yeah, that was the hang up because I took the... Because <laughs> everything had to be deleted. Yeah, the grill, you know, typically on these cars, the grill, the radio grill had all them little holes in it sure. you know, for the speaker. Well, we took that out because I didn't want that in there anymore with a radio delete car. So that, that took a while to get production done. Wow. And wait till you hear this one start up. It's, well, it's a rebel. Tell me about this red button on the side. Ah, uh, that's a, a line lock for the brakes. Okay. That didn't come with it, though. No, that didn't come okay, with it. Okay, all right. And then these gauges came similar to it. Yeah. So we've got a few upgrades. This looks like a right time period correct tack. It is. Yeah, exactly. And then the simple doors. You even notice the door holders are off because well you're gripping this wheel and 
I didn't expect there'd be a horn on there. <laughs> so, all right, let's, uh, well, let's take them to the business end, shall we? Before you pull that hood up, let me just step back for a second. Let me take that in. Now, as far as the quarter mile, what does this car do in the time period? In the time period, it did 1060s. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. What do you think it does now? I don't know. I haven't, I've never ran it out. All right. I typically run it up to about 100 miles an hour, and that's it because right. there's parts that could break. Yeah. That and I, and I know we're only going to be doing wink, wink, double, maybe 25 or so. Just yeah, like exactly. The speed limit, sure we will. All right, let's uh, open the hood. Notice there's no windshield wipers for obvious reasons. It's a drag car. It'll never be out in the rain. The paint's really spectacular. We just got a few things. Now tell me about here. Here's the Group 19. Now clearly we have Offenhauser valve covers, which wouldn't have been on there. Correct. But tell me the pieces that were on there. The cross ram. That's it, exactly like it was. That's exactly like it was. I actually had that out to Vic, Vic Edelbrock because it's a sand cast. Okay. And it is one of the first ones they did back in the day. Wow. So let me just step to... And obviously the radiator looks like you got a little more cooling ability yeah. there. Wow. And we've got the... That'll break there. What do you have, Hollies on it? Yeah, that, that was typical for the time period, right? Right, 650 Hollies, two yeah. of them. So not 750s, nope. but did 750s not come out at that time? Uh, hard to say. Yeah, it's hard to say with them. And, uh, uh, I, you know, the 650 probably throws enough juice down there anyway, and that's yep. exactly what it needs. And that's what was on it originally. That's what they built it as, so. And there was no VIN number on this car. There's None. no, yeah, nothing. So if you notice up here, there's, it's blank. And there's nothing in the doors or anything like that, as you can see. Nothing in here. It's all just blank. Shock towers are kind of interesting. Why no? Why do I see no shock at the top of that? And it's way down here. Is that unique just for the race team? No, that that's typically where they are on on this body style. Okay, so they never came up here where the hole is. No. Okay. No. Nope. Got it. Wow. Look at even this, we got the sun hitting it, we got, there's like a sparkle in there. Yeah, this, uh, the grill assembly in this car. Is that, a, that's a unique grill too, right? Yeah, it's a unique grill, because on the, on the production models, these arms are longer, mm -hmm. and this grill actually sat out up in here. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. But on this particular car, these are a little shorter, so it sits back. Uh, the guys at Topol Rambler who were put this car together, yeah. they welded in stuff like this. Okay. Uh, the pan, the delete panels on the heater, and the wipers. Those are those were on correct. the car. Those are correct. Those are correct. Yeah. They deleted everything. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to let you start it. We're going to turn it around. I want to show people the back. I'll let them hear it for a second. Why don't we start it here so they can see it run? And then we'll shut the hood, we'll put the pins in, we'll turn it around and we'll, we'll let it go. And the horsepower from Topol was about 500, and now I guess it's running about 600 plus, which means people on the channel are going to enjoy this. And I'm certainly going to enjoy this. <clears throat> A Rambler script right there. That's pretty cool.
taking a ride to historical AMC piece of history, the Topple Rambler. And I wanted to show you the back in the sun. And the reason why I wanted to show you the back is, well, this is the view that a lot of people are going to get today. So let's jump in. Fred, good to see you. There's no pad that grabs, so I gotta grab the door there. We're locked in. How's it feel? Pretty good. When's the last time you drove it? Oh, it's been quite a bit, three years or better. So you're taking it out just for the viewers and myself? Yeah. I appreciate that. It's a little radical to drive, but... <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's a, it's a fun car, though. It's a fun car. You know, it's got a 140, 140 mile an hour speedometer in it. Okay. You know, back in the day, they used these as police cars. Okay. So, is, is it a four speed? Is it a five speed? No, it's a four speed. Four it's speed. Ford Warner T Cat Super. Okay. Uh, super T Cat. Yep. We're good on my side, you got somebody on your side.
box here we can turn it into. Is it touchy at all or is it clutch decent? I got a, uh, a dual plane clutch in it. Okay. So it's uh, touchy. It, it, it's touchy. It's touchy. Carburetors are running a little rich, but that's okay. Uh,